Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So here we can see going through some of the best investments you can make in FIFA 21 right now to make a load of coins very easily, very quickly as well. But before we get into guys, please smash the like and subscribe button as well. Currently on 130 subscribers, so let's try and maybe get to 140 in the next couple of days. That would be fantastic. Support on the channel wasn't great lately, so keep that going. And yeah guys, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button as well. So straight into it some of the cars that we're going to be looking at today are informs fodder cars and things like that so get it started i'm going to start investing in a load of these costage and kevin trap cards now the reason for that is because they are the the price of 83s right now is just it's just too low it's too low to be true i mean you look at this what is he 1800 coins on the market right now this is just ridiculous so you want to go ahead and get yourself some, if you can, for this kind of price. I mean, just picked up two there for 1,800. He was like 2,400 the other day, so this card will definitely be rising. And the reason that it will be rising is due to an Icon SBC coming soon. Either Icon Players, Icon Player Pick, something like that is going to be coming soon in FIFA 21. Or a party bag of some sort or something like that. And last time around, I mean, these cards went up to 4k, 5k, even that, like, just when that player pick came out. So you do want to pick up cards like this, Trap, Cost Stitch, cards like that. Other cards you pick up, maybe yourself, you could even get a Premier League ones. Because of the SBCs do have high chemistry, so you get a player like Kovacic, who might be a bit more expensive than most 83s. But even coming in at around like what 2.9k, 3k, it's just so cheap. It's just so cheap. Again, you can have a look at Jorginho. What's he coming in at? About, about what 3.2k, should we say? 3.3. You can pick yourself up a load of Jorginho's for 3.3. These cards will rise. They will rise soon. Now. If you're asking me how long it will take, well, you've got to be patient because I don't know when the player pick and whatnot is going to come out. However, I know that when it does come out, these cards will rise. So if you have the patience for it, then definitely invest in these kind of fodder cards. Jorginho and Kovacic are a bit more risky, but I would say that Trap and Kostic aren't very risky. And you can have a look for yourself at some fodder that are quite low on the market compared to what they are. Now, other players would be card like this, Mario Fernandez. Now what you're looking at about 26,000 coins for a Mario Fernandez, an 84 rated inform. He's the cheapest one on the market right now because obviously he's the only inform in packs that's 84 rated compared to the other ones that aren't. So he's getting packed loads of times. If you want to invest in him, I strongly recommend do it around 6 o'clock. When the lightning rounds are out, people are going to be packing this card like crazy, listing up for maybe 24, 23. So definitely go ahead and do this during lightning rounds or pick yourself up. And invest in them because even like the cards like this rose to like 60 70k when that icon player pick came out it's ridiculous so you just hold to this card for maybe one week two week three weeks he, he could almost double in price potentially even if that doesn't happen and you do want to just sell within a week when he goes out of packs he's going to rise up to probably 30k 32k anyway good example of this would be trossard right I invested in a load of Trossard. I probably sold them a bit too quickly, but this Leandro Trossard was 22k about two days ago. And now he's coming in at around what 24k? Look at that, 24k you could probably sell them for. So you would have made 3,000 coins per card. He was 21k when he was in packs. And obviously, he is two ratings lower than Mario Fernandez. So Mario Fernandez. Is certainly a player you want to invest in. Obviously, maybe with a bit of a higher budget because he is around 26k. But he is perfect to invest in right now. But as I said, pick him up during lightning rounds and whatnot. Because that is probably the best time to do so. Now, if we also go have a look at the team of the week from now. We can actually have a look at some of the best players right now to pick up. So you could pick up yourself as well. Called like Hennessy, Wayne Hennessy. I think he's about what the other day he was 12k. Wayne Hennessy was 12k the other day. If we go check his price now for an 81 rated Premier League inform, may I add? How do you spell his name? 
Wayne. There we go. Go look at him now. This, this is a silly price, man. You need to pick up Wayne Hennessy as well. Mario Fernandez, Hennessy, 12,000 coins. Like, that's a stupid, stupid price. Really is. And again, pick up cards like this during lightning rounds. It's probably the best, best thing to do. So yeah, th these are cards I definitely recommend. Also, maybe even get some high level fodder. Like maybe a Yan or Black. Like, if we look at what he's coming out of now. 100,000 coins the guy's coming out. It's just, it's crazy, it's wild. Even if we look at Ter Stegen. If he's coming out like, what? 80,000 coins and below? You're looking at 74k for a 90 rated card. Like, these fodder cards are going to go up so much when this icon player pick comes out. Obviously, your cards like Tessane or Black, you'll need a higher budget for. Hey guys, these are certainly cards that I would 100% recommend that you invest in right now. And just hold them until the icon player pick or party back or just until they do go up in price. Just keep checking their price every day on Footbin. And you'll definitely see an increase one day. And when they do increase, you want to sell them. But yeah, guys, I think, in my opinion, Trap and Costage are a bit more risk-free because they will go up either way. Like, there is no doubt about that they are guaranteed to go up. Players like Jorginho and Kovacic that I showed you might be a bit more risky, but if they do come off, it's more profit than you would make off of these cards. And cards like Wayne Hennessy, like Mario Fernandez, these cards are the ones you want to invest in because they are guaranteed to go up when they go out of packs or if this icon player pick comes out this weekend, next weekend, whatever. And they'll rise a lot as well. So, yeah, guys, these are cars I would invest in. Thank you guys for watching so much. As I said earlier, please smash the like and subscribe button as well. Thank you for the support on the channel lately. And I'm out. Peace.